Hi, in this tiny tip, we're going to talk about totals and subtotals in the matrix visual. So here I have the matrix visual selected and I'm looking at sales information. So if I look at the fields in my rows, I have customer class, which is groupings for my customers. I have my customer name, I have my item number, and I have the item description. When I'm looking at the matrix in this particular way, I can see I have lots of subtotals and I have grand totals. So it's a little hard to read and a little hard to tell where things are laid out. So the first thing let's do is let's highlight the total, the grand total, so we know where it is and where we're working on it. So I'm gonna come in and open up the format option and open up grand total and change that background color to light green and I'll apply it to the label. So here is the grand total. And one of the things I wanna point out to you is when you are looking at the matrix in the stepped layout, which is what we're looking at here, which is like an outline in pivot table in Excel, when we're doing that, the total, the grand total will always appear on the visual, even if you have to scroll up or down. So like if I unselect US and go to people who are not in a class, I could see the grand total here. But when I go to US, even though I have to scroll, I could still see the total here as well. Now, if I were to come in, I'm gonna select the uh, visual again and go into format, and I'm going to go to row headers and take it off step layout. One of the things that you're gonna notice that happens is it appears that the totals are gone. And that's just because they're not appearing on the screen anymore, on the visual. But again, if I go back to the one where I could see everything on one screen, I could see that the totals are indeed still there. They're just at the bottom. They just do not always display on top of the visual. So that's something worth noting. Let me come back into this visual and on the row header, I'm gonna turn the step layout off for or back on for a bit. All right, so let's talk about the subtotals that we have going on. What I'm gonna do is come into the format option and there is a subtotal section here. And when I open this up, if I turn off row subtotals, you're gonna notice that the grand total disappears. So let me go back and select the one that is fits on the screen. And you can see all of the subtotals and my grand totals are gone. Well, that's certainly not something that I wanted to achieve, right? That is just not something I wanted to achieve. So let's come back in and turn the row subtotals back on. Now what this is telling us is, is that the grand total is actually a subtotal. It's a subtotal of the highest class. So let me go back into the row headers for a moment and turn off the step layout. So it is whatever the top hierarchy is, in this case is customer class, that it's actually the subtotal of the customer class. And then we have a subtotal of, in this case, the customer, and then we have a subtotal of the item number. And we don't actually have a subtotal for the item description, and that's because it's already in detail with the way we're looking at it on the screen. So let me turn the step layout back on for a moment. And I'm gonna come back to subtotals. And one of the options I wanna show you is if I scroll down on the subtotals, there is a row per level option. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And now you can see I can control what I wanna see. So if I only want the grand total and not everything in between, I could simply come in and turn these off. But you'll notice I have to turn the customer class one back on to get the grand total back. And you can see it's definitely the grand total because it retained that formatting that I put on it. What's interesting is if I were to go back into the row headers and turn the step layout off, so I have it back in tabular mode, back in the subtotals, I now have editable fields where I can change what the subtotal is. So in the case of the customer class subtotal, which is this field, I'm gonna come in and I'm not gonna put that this is the total for a customer class, but instead I'm gonna write this is the grand total because this will total up everything that it is displayed here. So here's my grand total. So if I wanna total up everything in a customer class, I would be totaling up everything for customers. So in the customer total, I'm gonna to come in and call this one customer class. And now I have a customer class total. 
and let me turn that back on and now I have my customer class total and now I could come into the item number and this is where I would be totaling up all the detail by for the item numbers and it would end up being for this particular customer or this particular customer so that item number total would actually be a customer total and if I wanted to subtotal by the item numbers I would go to that smallest or the the most detailed section and say okay subtotal that so this would be the item number total and now I could see the item number total oh gotta turn that one back on now I see the item number total the customer total the class total so that makes a whole lot more sense to me and so that's something I could do you can see the row subtotal position right now it's set to the bottom I could change it to the top if I wanted to by simply clicking on all of that all right love this feature and so now as I am looking at this even if I wanted to uh, not look at everything at one time let me turn off no country and go back to the US that might still look a little busy so I'm going to scroll all the way back to the top let me put my outline mode on here so for that I'm going to go to the row header scroll down and turn the icon on so now I have my drill down so now if I select the drill down option here if I want to know more about this particular customer class I can open it up and expand now I see the the total for this particular customer class and now I can select this particular customer there are all the item numbers I sold them and there are the total of all those item numbers for that customer which makes up the customer total for this customer and it, I could even go a step further and select this particular item number and I could see the total for this item number because sometimes I might have sold a, an item number multiple times this one looks like a real possibility nope all right I uh, probably could find a better example this is how the totals and the subtotals work pretty cool pretty nifty a little bit confusing if you don't know where to look but pretty simple if you do I hope this tiny tip helps